Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's side. How the devil are you? Today, we'll be looking at a little channel called Slapped Ham. Make sure you go over to the channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Slapped Ham. <laughs> This video is called, Are These Real Ghost Sightings? Caught on camera? We'll find out today! Without further ado, dive diddly day! <laughs> Let's do this! Shh! Go on, stop time! Okay. Okay. Scan right now. Oh. How you doing? I'm Callan and hey, this hey, is Slap like Pam. Max Today we're looking Maximum beard, please! Callum, mate. Jeez Louise, mate. Maximum on the beard. Looking luscious though, mate. Looking luscious. Looking at some must-see ghost videos <laughs> that may just test your nerve. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more Done. creepy content. Just like this. Slapped him. Subscribe and do the thing. Shh. One of our viewers, Marcel VDW, shared an unsettling video to our Slapped Ham Facebook group. Marcel says he's from South Africa and every so often, Keith Brew, Laka. The local residents have something called load shedding. Periodically, the power is cut off for two or more hours to ease the load of national power usage. I've actually heard of that. I have heard of that. I've got a couple of friends who've said that, actually. During these load shedding periods, Marcel uses his camera app and hits record, which automatically turns on the camera's flash so he can see and navigate around his house. Oh. The result is that Marcel has a lot of pointless videos of himself walking around the house in the dark. <laughs> However, in one of these clips, it seems something rather unsettling was- Well, can't you do the flash without recording? I'm sure, I'm sure you can do that. Inadvertently captured. Take a look. What are we looking at, mate? What are we going to see? The load shedding video shows Marcel getting a drink in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, nice. Would you put your cigarette out in that thing or something? Throws away some Coca-Cola, gets himself some more Coca-Cola, <laughs> so he throws it back away. However, watch closely <clears throat> as he walks down the hallway. See if you can spot anything strange. I can't see shit, mate. It is hard to see at first, but at the end of the darkened hallway, you can just make out a figure as it slips around the corner. Oh, what? Oh, it fucking does as well. Image, you can see that it's actually a shirtless man. Oh, fucking hell. It's a shirtless man or a t-shirt with no arms and legs, mate. What's this about? What's this? Ma Is that like a massive beard? Is that Callum there? Callum, what are you doing over there, so mate? So there's three possible explanations. Oh, what? oh, look at you. What the hell? Nations here. The first is that this video is all a hoax and that we're just seeing a roommate or friend. What yep. fucking roommate just does that? In the darkness. What a weirdo. Other two options, however, are a little more creepy. The second is that we're seeing an intruder lurking in the dark. Oh, mate, This option's that. pretty chilling, considering Marcel claims that he didn't know anyone was there. Yeah, there's a weirdo fucking naked guy literally hanging out in your lounge, mate. So it's possible a prowler was lurking in the dark the whole time. Oh, this shit. This is conceivable, given the scheduled power outages. Perhaps some burglars plan their break-ins during these times. Mate, that's like the bloody film The Purge, isn't it? That's like the, the purge! Times. Oh shit. 
The last option is that this is a full-bodied apparition caught on camera. Perhaps Marcel's apartment is haunted by some kind of presence. Like, I, I don't know, man. Looking at it now, it looks like some, literally, he spent every day out in the sun with, with a t-shirt on. And now he's taking his t-shirt off. He's got a sunburned head, sunburned arms, right? He's got some shorts on. That's his white body t-shirt. That's like, look, look at you. Get some bloody sun, mate. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Which of these three options do you think this most likely is? A, sun, a sunburnt dude. I don't know who who it is, but there's somebody in there, mate, who's who's sun not sunburnt, needs the sun. To hear your opinions in the comments below. Hmm. I think that's just a. What the fuck is going this on here? What the fuck is going on here, mate? The photo was sent to the Facebook group Ghosted UK by one of their followers. What? The parents who took this photo were just taking some fun snaps of their child while he was playing around and weren't thinking too much of it. However, when they reviewed one of the pics, something eerie stood out. In the photo, you can see a young boy in the center of frame. Hovering close by is a strange misty shape. It's not a shape, mate. It's a fucking little girl. Whatever it is, it looks to have dark eyes and an open mouth, giving off an almost agonized expression. <laughs> Wrapping your arm around it. What was that? Wrapping your arm around it, mate. It also looks like it's wrapping an arm around the young boy. So I'm talking about. Several viewers adamantly said it couldn't be double exposure because the second figure doesn't resemble the boy at all. No. And its arm is on a different angle. A lot of people said it could be the spirit of a loved one, perhaps a grandparent, as they felt the figure was protecting the child. Protecting it like that. <laughs> Christ, I'd rather just tackle it on my own, thanks. Others said they couldn't possibly agree as the figure looks far too sinister to be protecting mm. the child at all. Yeah. The other option here is that this is just pareidolia caused by the slightly blurry quality of the image. So what do you think? Is it protecting the young boy? Is it sinister? Or is it all just pareidolia? Take another look and I don't decide know. for yourself. I don't know, what do you reckon? I don't think, I, mm, I don't know, man. A grieving daughter believes she's kept. Look at the state of that, mate. Eh? This is a lovely room of death. Did footage of her late mother's spirit on security cam. In late May 2022, Janice Hilton was lying in bed when she received multiple notifications that her security system had detected movement in the living room downstairs. <laughs> Janice sat up in bed and watched the live feed in confusion. Take a look at what she saw. And this is just a short clip of what I actually saw. And that is the spirit of that thing, mate. Say, look at me. Look at my bloody head, mate. Get me in. And I'm convinced that my mum coming to say hello, coming to, to visit us. <gasps> what? Mate, that's got some, got some eyeballs. Oh, shit, it's Batman. It's bloody Batman, mate! Visitors, and there's no other explanation. There's car, when cars go up on the street, it goes on the wall, um, but curtains and blinds are closed. You can see a white mm. shape float around the room. And like I said, this is just a short clip. It was just so, it were lovely. And it were lovely. That's grand, that is, eh? <laughs> I just hope it was my mum coming to say hello, but I just, I couldn't believe it. Janet oh, it just had a massive jump then. It says that she watched the live feed for hours as the white shape wafted around the room. This is just a short clip of what I actually saw. And I'm wouldn't you have gone in there and ramboed it? I would have ramboed it. I'd gone in there and just proper had a look around, mate. I'm convinced that I'm coming to say hello, coming to, to visit us. And there's no other explanation. There's car, when cars go up on the street, it goes on the wall. Sadly, just six weeks prior, Janice's mum, Sandra, suddenly passed away. She says she can't quite explain the sighting and feels like it could be her mum's spirit coming Aww. to visit the family. Janice says that while the shape was floating around the living room, her dad, who was staying over, suddenly woke up and could feel his late wife's presence in the room. Ooh. 
Several commenters on the clip suggested it could just be dust, cobwebs, or light from passing cars. Hmm. I don't know, man. That's got a bit of a weird movement and shape for being dust and things. Janice responded with an open mind, but did say that all the curtains were closed tight, so no light could have been causing reflections at all. That bit there is weird, isn't it? So could this be Janice's mum coming to comfort the family? Janice? I guess if it brings everyone some peace, then that's all that really matters. Like I said, this is just a short clip. It was just so, it was lovely. And I just hope it was my mum coming to say hello. But I just, mm. I couldn't believe it. Strange, but true. This next series of photos were sent to us by one of our viewers, Yolanda Shadow Dominguez. Man. Here we fucking go, mate. Shadow man. BD. In the first photo, Yolanda was home alone watching some TV when she took a casual snap of her new shoes. When she looked at the photo, she couldn't quite believe what she was seeing. Oh, in the TV, mate! In the reflection mate. of the TV, you can see a shadowy figure. Again, Yolanda was home alone and has no idea what the figure is. Oh, fuck that, mate. Imagine seeing a shadow in your television like that. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, is that part of the movie? What is this? Oh, this is... This is that... Um, This is the Sandra Bullock film, right? B uh, birds? Is it birds? I see... Something see? See something? I can't remember. Where they have to put blindfold themselves. There was nothing there that could have cast a silhouette. Could a shadow figure be lurking in Yolanda's home? In a second photo shared, we can see Yolanda and some- Fucking hell, what the hell is this going on here, mate? Look at you! Look at you, mate! ...of her friends at a bowling alley. Strangely, in the background, we can see the transparent head of an older male. Like, I, and I'm not being funny, mate. The look of him, he ain't gonna be walking that fast. Look at him, mate. He's not fucking Speedy Gonzalez. Fucking Flash. Group is adamant that there was no one behind them at the time the photo was taken. Otherwise, they wouldn't have taken the snap in the first place. That's weird as shit. It is possible this second one could be some kind of malfunction with the camera as there's a little bit of motion blur evident throughout the photo. Yolanda showed the picture to the bowling alley manager. They were freaked out and struggled to explain the strange transparent head. But then they said, this bowling alley was built on a graveyard. <laughs> so does Yolanda have a knack for capturing evidence of the paranormal? Or are the photos just a coincidence? Mm. Let me know where you sit on this in the comments down below. Hang on, Mace, hang on. SEK Paranormal is an up-and-coming ghost investigation channel on YouTube. Based in Sweden, they travel around the country looking for Sweden? evidence of the afterlife. In this episode, Emil, the lead investigator, explores an old train station where allegedly several people have died. He begins by setting up his equipment in the dark industrial lot. So, what I will do now, I will try an EVP session. I love the I love the Swedish accent, mate. It's fucking awesome, isn't it? Hey, listen to this accent. Maximum accent, please. And I will. Uh... Fuck it, I don't. What the fuck you want? Fucking recording the video here, man. I, I think it's hot in it. I'm I'm sweating my tits off in this fucking room. I gotta record this video ASAP. Cheers. Sorry. Just going to start ghost tube here. While setting up for an EVP session, Emil hears some eerie sounds. Right beside this. Right beside this. <laughs> right beside this. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Something. Dislike. Again, dislike. Vad <laughs> är Pamela again? Vad är du inte tycker om? Kan du berätta för mig vad är du inte vill eller tycker om nu? Then the communication device he's using keeps repeating the same name. Är du här med mig nu? Fucking mate, how many languages does PewDiePie speak? Dislike Pamela. Dislike Pamela. No one dislikes Pamela. Dislike Pamela. 
What is happening? <laughs> Vad är det du inte tycker om? Pamela. <laughs> oh, there was. I didn't hear the female As if voice. This though. is an eerie enough. It said it said next to it, like because it is hidden. Um, uh, sound next to him, and then di disembodied voice, female. Ah, things begin to ratchet up a notch when more noises are heard. You're here now. Pamela. Pamela. <laughs> Oh! I heard that, mate. Okay. Mate, he's shitting oh, it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ooh. You heard that. I did hear it, mate. Oh my god. Oh shit, one of those things moved. That, I have chills all over my body. Call out to her, mate. Pamela! A plank here just moved. I heard it. Later in the investigation, Emil suspects that a person may be lurking nearby, eyeing off his camera and other equipment. You can hear somebody walking. Fe uh, a female whisper. I can just about hear that, and I've got the, the the volume up max, so I can just about hear it. Wait. Hello. Hey, honey, you going? Hey, honey, going? What the hell? Now it's quite clear that there isn't anyone nearby, despite the unnerving sounds. I one thousand percent thought. That what that there was coming a person walking right up yeah. to me here. Okay, that was creepy. I thought that I was going to be attacked. That maybe some psycho have seen my cameras and stuff. So, but watch what Emil's static camera has managed to pick up. Oh, let's go! Let's go! How? Look at you, you white bald head! Come on! Do it, do it again! A grey face looks around the corner of the wall. Oh, mate. Here it is again, brightened up and oh, slowed shit. down. Oh, fucking look at you, mate. Look at you with no town on this fucking hot day. Let's go! Around the corner of that wall is just a dead end with nowhere for anyone to hide. Emil says this could be one of the greatest sightings he's ever managed to capture on camera in all his years of investigating the supernatural. Oh, man. He's certain that no one else was nearby and thinks this could indeed be a ghost caught on camera. I directly got That's weird mate. That's weird cuz he went round there and checked out as well. You know to to uh, defense mode like what the fuck like but then I came here and as always there is not a single person. Oh boy. This next one was sent to us by Kane Rayner after he did a tour of the infamous Ararat Asylum in Victoria, Australia. Kane was walking through a small chapel on the grounds that are adjacent to the main cells. He took several photos as he passed through and it appears one of the snaps caught something odd. Oh really? Let's you have a look, shall we? You can see Kane on the right. However, on the left is a strange little image of a person in the window. Mate, I, I looked at that, I thought it was it's May or something. Are you telling me that he's not supposed to be there? Kane says he was the only person in the chapel at the time. Look at you with your little mini arms. What's all that about, mate? Huh? Even if there were other people in the chapel at the same time, it doesn't really explain the bizarre little person on the windowsill. What the fuck? Is he is literally little. He's a little person. What? The most obvious explanation would be that this image has been photoshopped. However, if we run a noise analysis filter over it, it doesn't appear to have been tampered with in any way. Oh, look at you with the mod cons, mate, eh? 
Furthermore, a luminance gradient filter reveals that there does appear to be an object there, interacting with the light from the room. Nice investigation, mate! So is this a glitch with the camera? Or is this something a little more mysterious? Ararat Lunatic Asylum dates back to 1865, when the burgeoning colony of Victoria in Australia needed space for an increasing number of so-called lunatics. Oh wow. It quickly became infamous for its appalling conditions and ghastly therapeutic methods. Oh, Lobotomy we're talking about like electrocution of the brain? These and electroconvulsive shots were regular practice, even among children. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Eventually, the asylum was shut down in 1998. What goes through your head thinking that? Like, I know, if I electrocute this child, then uh, whatever, mate, you fucking weirdo. These days, paranormal ghost tours are run frequently on the weekends. One Victorian paranormal investigation team, Drifter Paranormal, did a tour of the property in mid-2017. They dubbed it one of the worst places they had ever been to, oh, referring shit. to a heavy energy that felt like it could go wrong at any moment. So did Kane manage to capture evidence of the haunting history of Ararat, or is there another way to explain Ararat. this strange little figure? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. I do like photos. Photos are good, man. They're freaky deaky. Before we take a look at what these paranormal investigators are calling their scariest investigation ever, remember to hit that subscribe button, Done. tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. Done. That way you'll get a little notification every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. Let's go. Mindseed TV is a top tier paranormal- <laughs> Ah, Mindseed, let's go, baby. Investigation channel on YouTube. The team has a deep passion for exploring the unknown. Mm. Whether it's abandoned buildings, freaky cemeteries, or sites of urban legend, more often than not, this team captures some truly bizarre things on camera. Which one's this then again? The team have said this investigation is the scariest encounter they've ever had. Pushed to their limits, it even made them question whether they can continue being paranormal investigators altogether. Oh, this is the one with all the bloody um, cockroaches everywhere and that. Mindseed TV received an email from a couple saying that they believe some kind of evil presence resides in their home. Yeah, they wish mate. to remain anonymous, but wanted the team to come investigate the property. According to the current residents, the previous owners had marital problems and would fight frequently. As time went on, things got more and more aggressive until one day the wife disappeared. Allegedly, after a thorough police investigation, they eventually found the wife's body at the bottom of the lake at the back of the property. Yes! Since buying the house, this, the This was bloody good, mate. This was bloody good. Current residents have experienced eerie activity, like doors slamming, objects moving for no reason at all, as well as mysterious infestations of pests like spiders and other bugs. Uh-huh. The investigation begins as the team takes an initial look around the- Look how dodgy this place looks, mate. It looks so damn dodgy. And wait till you get outside, that the noise. Property. <laughs> Imagine trying to sleep with that. <laughs> Fuck! You go crazy. No wonder, no wonder there's fucking ghosts and shit around. You're going crazy, man. Hello, hello. After their initial sweep, something eerie happens while they're in the living room of the main house. Take a look. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, sh Yes! Oh, yes, mate, yes! This is fucking weird, something man. Something broke, and the chair just moved. That chair just moved right there. A glass breaks, some papers fly around, and a chair moves, seemingly all on its own. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, sh Fuck it. This was a good one, mate. Something broke and the chair just moved. That chair just moved right there. Both investigators managed to capture the movement on their cameras. Here it is, slowed down. See, it looks pretty legit. I mean, again, it could be anything, you know? Everything could be anything, but 
As they take a look at the broken glass, they notice that there are cockroaches crawling. Yeah, man. Like, uh, the rest of the stuff as well is just so damn strange. Like, the cockroaches in there and that, and the noise of the place. Everything's just so odd. All over the bench top. There's glass everywhere in here. That was it. Look at it, mate. Did you know that roaches are one of the cleanest insects in the world? Fact. The owners of the property have said that whenever some kind of paranormal activity happens, shortly after, bugs and other pests would often appear. They said one time their sink was inexplicably full of maggots. Oh, fuck. Here, just moments after the breaking glass, cockroaches appear. That's a. I know cockroaches are strong, mate, but Jesus Christ, smashing a bloody glass across the room, all right? Maximum strength, mate. Or oh, it was a ghost. Roach. big ass roach. Yeah. Later in the investigation, the team heads outside to look at the barn. This is when something truly unnerving happens. Take a look. And there isn't any bloody horses in there, mate, let me tell you that. After just the one bang, the entire barn starts shaking. I mean, if that is actually legit, you wouldn't. I, I don't. I think that would be enough for you, wouldn't it? To just stop investigating, you know? If the whole fucking barn started shaking and rumbling, you'd be like, do you know what? I, 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 you know, I get time for this, man. I get motherfucking time for this, man. I got bronchitis. I'm telling you right now, I'm over it, dude. Yeah. It's at this point He's the like, team starts oh, questioning this. their investigation as they become increasingly worried for their own safety. I knew that when I left the stalls, I was just more concerned with my safety at the time. Um, but we left a device in there. Just as the team decides to leave the property, they hear a massive splash in the nearby lake. Let's go. <laughs> mate that Tell would be that. so damn sketchy just try to put yourself instead of like watching this with the filter over your eyes yeah safely in your in your lounge right now or in bed instead of that filter imagine that you are actually in this environment right now everything going wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. right the barns just shake, shake like crazy. You've just gone into a weird ass fucking house. Glasses are flying everywhere. Tables and chairs are spinning, okay? And then you're outside and you hear this splash when you know you're on your own. That's fucked. What the f What's that? Hey, dude. It's not like somebody did a cannonball. There's no way. This spurs the team on to run a Ouija board session by the lake where the previous owner's wife was allegedly found. Uh-huh. Whatever is here, are you evil? As they ask a few questions by the lake, this happens. <sighs> Get ready! Can you give us an initial? Can you give us your name? Can you give us anything? Fucking hell, mate. See, when I first saw that, I was like, what is it? It took me ages to work out. Let's get the... Hopefully, Slapped Ham will do an enhancement as well. Watching that again, a grey shape appears just out of the water. Here we go. That's fucking better. Here it is, slowed down. Like, oh, yeah, I can see it, mate. It's side on. It's side on. Look at you with your fucking blue eyes! Like, okay, so we got 
the, the nose, the eyes, and then this is the hair coming down with the- maybe that's the ear? Like, maximum ear. Right, this enhancement again, look. I mean, that's going to another level, mate, to make a video. Right? If that's fake, that's going to another level to make a video. Or, or it could be, like, I don't know, a crocodile, like that. Whatever crocodiles do. It's clear this investigation rattled the team to their core. Yeah, it, it would do. Imagine that! Made them question everything they do, their safety, their sanity. Took them a long time to process what they saw. They even took a break from filming for quite a few weeks as they couldn't fully explain this eerie encounter. <laughs> oh, shit. Mind CTV is a fantastic. I would have just fucking dived in there, Ramboed it. Going, She's dying! She's dead! Get her out of here, man! Just a fucking mouth to mouth and just. Like that? And she would have made. If she wasn't dead, she would be alive by now. Hang on. No, that doesn't make sense. Whatever, mate, you know what I mean. <laughs> fantastic unit, and I highly recommend you check out their other videos. As always, Mind I'll CTV, put links brilliant. to their stuff in the description box down below. Yeah. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <laughs> <laughs>